What is up guys? Finding Shroom here. Today I will make another quick tutorial about animated title screens. Because you don't want to make a title screen that looks like RPG Maker. And I will show you an example of that really quick. So here's my current project. I added very fast this effect which in my humble opinion makes it look so much better what do you think and it does it does work normally i'm in the game it's all good yeah let's just close out so i will show you how to, you can make your very own animated title screen so the first step you need to do is you go into the game definition and then into rules and operations and here you're gonna want to enable skip the title screen this is the default just go here now you don't have the custom title screen thing next step is we are going into the layout tool and on the very top is title so you want to make your own custom title so just copy and paste uh, the red one and you have your own title screen it's very important to let's just make a quick copy paste to delete uh, the background because the background will be your scene so you delete the background and that's basically it it's now prepared for your screen because you can see the stuff actually with background enabled it's hard to see you can always just uncheck stuff if you don't want to delete it it's now deactivated if you don't if you are unsure and want to try out stuff you can always just uncheck things same goes for common events just saying so i have my title screen is enabled again so you have completed almost everything you need to do it's very simple now you want to make a map for your title screen. You can use an existing map, but it's it's kind of annoying to deal with. I like to make my own map for the title screen. I just copy and pasted one of my maps. This is a little bit important. I did change my starting position to somewhere you can see because i don't want to have this this ring around the character on my my title screen so my scene is basically this uh, something like this and then the camera camera goes up here's the thing you don't have a title screen anymore so your game will just start from the beginning so you need to tell the game what it's what it should do i have an event it is called start screen it's very easy you just set up a bgm for me it's that then that's important disable player operation i think if you show a menu it will happen automatically but i like to just disable it or else you you can hear your character moving around while you're pressing the buttons you don't really want that then i have a weight counter this is optional you have to play around how you want your interface to be displayed for me it's just a little weight and then the title screen pops in and then just a simple display title screen you can find it on screen effects in the event section it's here display title screen you have different options here 
to display different menus. So take advantage of that at some point. And this starts automatically only once. Good, I have set it up. So now what will happen is not a lot um, because we need to go into the camera tool now. Oh no, let's just go to the layout tool because there's one thing you need to configure with your events before um, everything. You have your options as you should, but if you try it out now, you <laughs> click on new game, you will be in a loop. Nothing will happen. You need to attach an event to this new game option to make it work. For me, it's... Okay, first of all, if you don't have that much experience in the layout tool, those things are options with the folder with an A. So you click on the new game option and then you can select an action. What, what's supposed to happen if you press that one? And it's close and call common event, input action none, common events, and then you select a common event. And this common event is your personal new game common event. I have this. I darken the screen. I teleport the player to into the starting position. Then it's just a switch. You, you have to make it work with your systems and stuff. For me, I have a big event that set up the, that does set up all my variables. And this switch tells it to run. Mm, I can show it in a second, but it has to fit your game. If you have for if you have a time system, you want to set up the time that it's correct. You have year one, day one, eight o'clock. I don't know all the variables that need to be a specific value in the new game. So at some point, uh, you want to brighten the screen again, of course because the screen will be black forever if you don't and you want to enable a player operation again you can find the player operation under switch you can it's not only for switches you can switch stuff on and off like for example the player train uh, disable player to run disable player operation is what we need yeah, you can do a lot here. Always just play around with the events, look at all the options you have and what, and just think about what you can do with those. Okay, now this is the new game event. It's just important, teleport in on the right map, do your variables and enable player operation. Good. So now you have, if you have a new game now, you will be greeted with something that looks like this because you did not set up the camera tool yet. We will do that now. Uh, wait a second. So this is my, this is my map that I use for my intro scene and the default it's not a camera tool uh, tutorial but I will tell you something the default is always what will show automatically if you're on that map and you can select a camera that will be used so you can't change it directly but you can change it by choosing the camera you want to use so you want to add a new camera call it intro scene for example um, 
mine is called start screen and this is what happens on my start screen it's not much honestly if you just have a static camera on a nice backdrop with some particle effects it's it's already so much better than a static image or a character standing there with idle animations so much better um, but if you want to have some movement it's pretty simple you have um, here a frame you can just click add a frame and you will basically do a copy and paste so you have two times the same frame now you can play around with the second frame do a little movement for example if you change um, this value for example here start frame to 60 the frame number here will change accordingly so it will take 60 frames to reach the second picture and the nice thing is you don't really need to do much more let me delete this one i don't want to mess up stuff for me so i have two times the same image and the third one is just i went up with my camera i just went up and the nice thing about this camera tool is it will make the in-between automatically. So the camera will just move from point A to point B on its own. And you should just play around with it a little bit. What these things do, for example, um, it's just how the acceleration is of the, oops, of the camera is, um, if it's starting fast and slowing down or the other way around yeah so um it is important to set gazing target the target to non-world coordinates or else the camera will always go back to your character if you i mean you have center of the map also and you can even you can you can even go to every event on the map if you want to um yeah but by default it's always the player just change it to world coordinates and then you can just move the camera wherever you want it to be i'm pressing the middle mouse button by the way um, you can also just just play around with those values here um, to get the right position and yeah the rest is up to you be creative it's really that simple to improve the quality of your games that much that's about it if you have any ideas for future videos just let me know in the comments if you want to know a specific thing i mean you can always just go to the barking discord and ask there maybe a better idea if it's just a small thing but if you want to know a procedure like this one just ask away that's it i will see you hopefully in the next one that i will make at some point maybe sooner maybe later who will know who will know my english improves by the day guys see ya bye